Anyway, this is going to be a movie. Our, our next winner's semifinal matchup is going to be MVD versus Big Boss. We're Ooh, going to jump right into it we here. We have another Rob. Oh, got to right. love the Robs. All right, Snake <laughs> versus Rob. This is an interesting matchup. Not a lot of, not a lot of like, your typical brawling in here, right? It's not like yeah, Ike no. versus Sephiroth. We're not just going to see two swordsmen. Uh, who's who's the who's favored in this matchup in your eyes? Uh, I think this matchup's probably even. Uh, it can be kind of rough for Snake. Rob is a really annoying character, and it doesn't. He does not let Snake play his game very much. And look, I mean, exactly what you're saying is yeah, right. I mean, like, this is a, a fast 140. On MVD. I know MVD is not... Uh, he's not uncomfortable in this matchup, but I'm not sure if he likes it or not. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody really loves the Rob matchup. <laughs> Why would you? Yeah. This is where Snake is so annoying, his ability to just put consistent yeah. pressure on you no matter where you're at, almost never safe. One thing I will say is you have to close out the stocks against MVD early. Yeah. Because he will take a lead and take it to a mile so and that's so far what big boss is doing actually yeah. pretty impressive start um i mean i would call him an underdog in this matchup uh certainly no slouch himself clearly but um yeah i mean doing doing everything early just like kind of all over yeah that's kind of how you have to stay when you're playing against mvd yep because cool. mvd will just go ahead and go space you out and run away gets him through the stage there by the way when he's coming up that was kind of tricky I've actually personally played MVD quite a bit, so I know how much of a pain it can be when yeah. he gets set up. Ooh, Ooh that was that was unfortunate. Close timing with the invulnerability there. Okay, this is that setup. We got a glimpse of what it can look like when MVD gets set up, like you were saying. Yeah. Just the util is so annoying. But I mean, when you're a robot with with some fast arms and a yep. top, it doesn't matter. I guess you just kind of roll through them. Rob has a lot of stuff to deal with Snake's big explosions and stuff. Because like, he can stay off stage forever, so like he can dodge Nikita pretty easily. Yeah. All of his projectiles blow up grenades, so it can be kind of rough for Snake. So at 41 on his final stock is MVD, so he's got to close this one out pretty fast. Already taken quite a few more hits, though. Big Boss has no problem just poking and prodding here, working that percentage up. Oh, man, I just realized if Big Boss actually manages to take this, then we will have a Rob Ditto in our winner's finals. Oh, that would be wild. And not quite. Oh, not take quite. It. Okay. I have seen MVD win these, so definitely don't count them out yet. Yep, certainly possible. Going to opt to play off stage. Tricky recovery there. Yeah. God, this, it's just so hard to play on the stage when you're going up against Snake. It's so yeah. annoying. But also tough to play on the stage when there's a top flying at you all the time. So, ah, uh, that should do it. Kind of goes both ways, yep. and that's going to be Big Boss that taking. Will definitely do it. First one. We also have a prediction up right now in our Twitch chat. You can you can chime in to see who you think is going to win this one. Uh, certainly interesting. Uh, did I? You know, that first game is not how I think we thought it was going to go. Yeah, no. It it was still like kind of close, yeah. but I I did not expect it to be in the favor of Big Boss that hard, yeah. at least. The first stock was very, I think, yeah, one-sided. Yeah. I think, it, you, know, if he, if, you know, MVD kind of caught up after that, but that, that first stock just really got out of the hand pretty fast. It yeah, like, it's, it seemed like he just needed to get used to what was, like, happening. Yeah, And yeah. once he did, he started to play his own game a little bit more. No doubt. We'll see, we'll see if he makes the adjustment in this game. All right. Opting for Pokemon Stadium once again. Yeah, MVD really likes this stage. Is this, is this, am I right in saying this is like an Oklahoma Smash stage? <laughs> a lot of Oklahoma yeah, Smashers like this stage? Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of much, Smashers, period, maybe. Pretty much when you go to uh, weekly in Oklahoma, this is the stage you'll start on. That's really <laughs> funny. I love, I mean, I, you know, if you've watched any of like the old Smash, like Melee documentaries, there's, it's just so fascinating how regions of Smash are so distinct. I, it's one of my yep. favorite things about the scene. In a. Uh, that is just a lot to deal with. Yeah, this is MBD's. polar opposite of what we saw yep. start with last game. Talk, we, we talk a lot about how that first stock is always kind of the tempo setter for a lot of matches. Yep. And if that's the case, this is a this is a tempo that is in MVD's favor right now. I thought we were going to cast a curse for a second. Maybe <laughs> not. We'll <laughs> He's going to try to close out this stock really early. Yep. There wow. we go. Wow. 
Snake's C4 on these platforms is so big yeah. in this matchup because Rob is tall enough to where it'll always hit him if he's anywhere in, even close to that platform. Yeah, yeah. It's a good stage pick for, for Snake. Yeah. Rob definitely doesn't hate this stage either with his uh, projectiles. He can yeah. move around pretty easily. Yep. Ooh, that was a nice hit. This is one where I, I'm, I'm, I've been trying to like think more and more about how you know characters we've seen recently play similar, and I think Snake probably plays the most like Ness from any other character I've seen, in the sense that you have to be able to control things away from your character so consistently, or almost like Duck Hunt maybe. Yeah, you know? I think that'd be a better comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe because that is, uh, yeah, yeah. oh, he that fairly was, got himself that out was of that. Really close. This is exactly what I was talking about. Yep. He's at 187 right now, and Big Boss is at is at, he could lose his stock. Do an up tilt right yeah, now. Yeah, he has, to be, he has to be afraid to approach. <laughs> yeah, even I, against someone who's this high, it's just nuts. Like, look at that. Yeah, he almost died off of that just because he got a little bit antsy. Oh, Man, I mean, he just controls. There, him. there wasn't anything Big Boss could have done about that. Yep. Because if he would have gotten blown up by oh, the first one, man. he would have thrown another one anyway. A lot of patience there from MBD oh, to man. sit. Two hundred and four. If he lives That'll this out, there's no way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But still, uh, it is a full stock lead, and you're up against a snake, and it's one of the best snake players, if not the best snake player in the world. Oh, man. This is definitely a rough one. Yeah. I think, I mean, you, you definitely have to give MVD, MVD credit here as well. Um, I mean, took a tough loss first match and clearly has made some adjustments. I yeah. Mean, that's the thing is... Sometimes people just think at a high level these games are just arbitrary, and no, these, these Ooh, are clear was, changes made. That was actually just true. Yeah. There wasn't anything you could have right. done about that. That was tragic. Well, MVD turns it yeah, around in the second round. Huge turnaround from MVD. In that's that going to put us at 1-1. One, one. Yep. Pretty interesting. Uh, you know, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what he did there. It just seemed like he had a lot more control. Yeah. It just seemed like he stuck to his game plan way more. Yeah. And Big, he, Big Boss just kind of played into it. Like, it wasn't even really anything like – wrong yeah. that Big Boss did is just like, well. Yeah, Big Boss W'd a lot the first Big game. Big Boss and just has that a in his face. big character. Also so that. he got hit quite a bit. Yep, yep. <laughs> Sometimes that just happens when you're playing Rob versus Snake. Yep. I, I think we'll probably see a different stage here. I also yeah. don't know if we have any other, you know, if Big Boss has a lot of other characters in his kit. Uh, he might be able to switch here. Um, you know, he didn't look bad on the Rob. That wasn't a, just a blowout by any standards. Yeah. But, you know, I'm switch. I'm sure MVD banned FD, so there's no way. We're going to see an FD pick. Okay. That is MVD's least favorite stage. All right. Interesting. Is it just because it, I mean, obviously, yeah, it just doesn't work with, with, with Snake as well? I, I think that's his least favorite stage. Okay. It's either that or I believe, oh, I can't remember. He, I, I know he always bans FD, but I can't remember the other ban that All he right. normally does. Well, we will see what we're going to be on in just a moment here. Ah. Look at that. MVD, uh, big Lilat apologist. He really likes this stage. Interesting. I think this is pretty good for Snake. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that Big Boss went here. Yeah. That's I, I don't know that this really, man. I mean, yeah. I don't think it's like an awful pick, but I, like against MVD, I would never go Lila. <laughs> well, the, the same principle applies with the, the landmines that they're going to hit Rob on any, yeah. you know, on any in any platform they're placed on. So. But not a bad, you know, again, the, the first talk a lot of times tells a lot of the story, and so far, pretty close. I mean, oh, oh you forgot it was there. Right. It's well. really hard to see C4 on this stage. Yeah. That is another thing. When it's on the the base of the stage and not the platforms, it's yeah. easy to miss. Uh, there is one version of the C4 that's actually white, and if you put it just right, it is almost invisible I mean, yeah, it's on, like, be. the thruster. Yep, on the yeah, yep. I think that would be a good, like, almost like the crack between the thruster and yeah, the wing right there would exactly. be a great spot. That's where the it's textures could blend. Next to impossible to see it right there. Yep. Just so much, like, you know, just annoying util from both of these characters. The only difference being that MVD's util can do a lot of serious damage. Yeah. Whereas Rob has to get in and hit you eventually. He has to get contact made. Oh, my gosh. To do big chunks, and he's having a very hard time approaching right now. And MVD is doing a master class and just spacing him out, playing his game, using his util, and getting a lot of value out of it. Yeah, MVD's like, okay, you got this game won. Now, now it's time to play. Yeah, seriously. You have to deal with me now. Again, a reminder that the winner of this will go up against Epic Gabriel in our winner's final. Should be an electric one if it's anything like this, so we'll see. This matchup's always really interesting to watch. 
because <laughs> Rob's just going to keep swinging, and it yep. Snake is just going to keep pulling grenades. So there's just a lot of expl Oh, my gosh. That. Not quite going to do Almost, it. okay. Rob is pretty fat. This is wild because MVD has not lost a stock yet. Yep. Ah, uh, that'll do it, though. Okay. The three stock would have been pretty mentally booming right there if you're big boss. But at least you take one off yeah. of them. I guarantee you that MVD... Oh, that's going to do it, actually. Oh, my gosh. This would be a serious comeback on the part of Big Boss if he's able to bring this back. Yeah, seriously. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Ah, he still has his jump. He's going to dip. Okay. MVD needs to reset here. It can be pretty hard to close out a snake stock early. It's... Almost really lucky to be able to close out a stock that early on Snake. Yeah. Oh, oh he no. just ran into Rolls it. Rolls into that the sucks. C4. He saw it earlier. He clearly had dodged yeah. it, but that's the thing with playing against Snake. He's sneaky Snake. He's got the mines all around, and that's going to put uh, MVD up 2-1 in the series. I really wonder Man, almost a great comeback. MVD read him running back towards that C4 or was just blowing it up to drop another one? I, think I couldn't tell. It's hard to – I mean, either way, you know. We'll see, but we do have one quick yeah, replay we, from that one. We have the replay of that quick stock from Big Boss here. Yeah. What did he even get the starter with? Was it with Gyro? Oh, no, it was in there. All right. Yep. Pretty standard. Yep. Died at 37. Pretty, pretty nice, though. Pretty standard. <laughs> yep. And that's going to lead us right in. Same stage. Oh, we're going straight back. Deja vu here. MVD, if he wins this one, will go up to the winner's final. So Big Boss has got to claw this one back. We'll see. I don't know if I agree with going back, but honestly, I don't know like what other stage Big Boss yeah. would have wanted to go to. So I mean, it it's, was, it's probably fine. He almost got three stocked though. Like <laughs> I, you know, it's, yeah, I'm I feel like with you. when the game is that bad, like I mean, I guess he brought it. He back. did bring it back. Like, you it, know? Was, it was closer, but I wouldn't go back here if I was him. It's tough when both players have, like, similar map pools and one player is just a little bit better than the other. Then, like, yeah. you, you can't play into your own hand if you're playing into their hand kind of thing, you know? Just a reminder, you can predict who you think is going to win this set. Yeah, you can use your channel points. Channel points. Someone has bet 1,000 channel points on MVD, so that is a bet you oh, could man. take. Uh, but right now, I can understand why you would not want to take uh, <laughs> the bet against that. <laughs> so we'll see, though. Yeah, looking a little rough here for Big Boss. MVD one stock up right now. The forward smash? As soon as you catch him off guard. Oh, that'll oh, do it. That might get him right there. All that right, we got a game. We have that a game. move is so good from Rob. I mean, of all the things in his kit, that is probably the most just tough. I mean, it's so tough to get away yeah. from. Yeah. I think this is probably the closest game we've had so far in this set. Yep. A lot, uh, just a flurry of damage to start up this stock here. I mean... Much more aggressive from both sides. Yeah. Uh oh, that could be bad. Look oh, he popped this. out. <laughs> this this fav this playstyle favors Big Boss big time though. He needs to keep playing that up tempo. Great. I mean, Jump. it didn't work out there. I actually, but know why that worked. Oh no, that's unfortunate. That uh, down throw up tilt should not have been true at that percent. But I I may maybe MVD knows something I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely seemed a little early. I I, I didn't uh, think Rob was actually dead. Down throw up tilt isn't supposed to like true confirm until 160. percent So that's kind of weird that he got down throw up tilted at like 120. But I, I don't know what happened. So yeah, it could be a stage thing. It could be a Rob thing. I don't know. Yeah. A thonker. If you know in yeah, chat, let us know. But MVD's playing his game. Yep. The usual. I kind of, I kind of like watching Snake. I think it's interesting. It's just, it's fascinating because it's such a different play yeah. style. Like if you, if you've actually tried to play Snake, like it's really kind of confusing to try to do it. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, like I play, I play Duck Hunt a little bit, and I love playing Duck Hunt because like it's just, it's goofy to kill people with beans and like a frisbee that explodes. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's still different. Like there's just not as much you have to think ahead with as Duck Hunt, whereas Snake you have to be like two plays uh, ahead. You have to think about like where you're putting all your stuff, yep, yep. when you're throwing your stuff. Yep. And you, you make plays built around that. And that's yeah. it's just so tough. Really respect him for being able to play this character. And that is just Ooh. brutal. Oh, wow. He died off the side. Woo. Yeah. Unlucky bounce there. That was really weird. He hit the bottom and went straight left. Yeah. I wouldn't have expected that either. Mm. And that is going to send MVD to our winner's final to yep. go up against Epic Gabriel. 
what should be a really good matchup. That's going to send yeah, Big Boss gonna, down to the We're going to see the same bracket. matchup again. Yeah, that's very true, actually. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it's tough for Epic Gabriel, too, because I think yeah. he plays a lot of Rob primarily. And Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've ever actually seen Epic Gabriel play a different character. I don't know if I have either. I could easily be wrong. I'm sure... Everybody plays at least like one yeah, other sure, character, sure. except for, there is one guy in Oklahoma who is I've never seen play another character. Talking about Cannon Red? N oh, no, actually, I'm talking about uh, his tag is Darn. Oh, he plays exclusively Ike, even in friendlies. Interesting. That's funny. Yep, I have never seen him play another character. All right. So, Caleb, we got to get your your rating of that past match on a scale of one to ten. MVD versus Big Boss. That what would can, you give that one? That we can get a six. Okay, uh, six or a seven. Moderately impressed. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. bad, not bad. Yeah, the fact that they almost played had a three his game stock, well. you know, like yeah, 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 like that first game was great from Big Boss. He came out swinging, but then MVD just adapted completely. Yeah. It looked like he just didn't have a chance anymore.